If you think that open source models are dead, think again and have a look at this brand new model called as AuraFlow. AuraFlow is a fully open source, largest flow based text to image generation model which produces images like this from simple text prompts. How good is that? On the left hand side, the image has been just produced by the prompt photo of a beautiful woman wearing a green dress. And then next to her, there are three boxes. The box on the right is filled with lemons. The box in the middle has two kittens. The box on the left is filled with pink rubber balls. And then in the background, there is a potted house, uh, house plant next to a grand piano. And you can see the attention to the detail. So in this video, we are going to install this amazing AuraFlow model locally by diff users. And then we will also generate some images with the help of it. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent affordable GPUs, I will drop the link to the website in video description. Plus you will also get a coupon code of 50% discount on the same place. So please do check them out. Okay. So this model achieves state of the art results on Geneval. Plus this model is currently in beta, but very, very actively being improved upon and community is collaborating a lot. Also, uh, <clears throat> most of the effort has been done by two engineers, I think Simo and there is another one, and they have just achieved this in a very, very short period of time. So huge kudos to them. Amazing work there. Okay. So that said and done, let me open my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 as you can see here and then my NVIDIA card which I'm using is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM should be good for this demo. Let me clear the screen and we will be installing everything and running this model in Jupyter Notebook but for that to happen let's install some of the prerequisites starting sorry starting from Conda virtual environment which will keep everything nice simple and separate. So let me quickly paste my command here to create Conda environment. I'm just calling it AuraFlow with Python 3.11. Let's wait for it to get installed and activate that environment. And that is already done. And now let me create some of the prerequisites here. So I'm installing transformers, accelerate, protobuf and sentence piece. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And these are done. Let's also install the torch and torch vision. Let's wait for it. Shouldn't take too long. I think it's already there. Pillow is already there. Amazing stuff. And now let's install our diffuser and I'm installing it from the source. Let me paste the command here and let's run it. Let's wait for it to finish installing it. And that's all done. Let me clear the screen. And now let's install our Jupyter Notebook and launch it. It is going to launch it in the browser. So let's wait for it to finish running these commands and it is going to open it in the browser as I mentioned earlier. And there you go. We have our browser open here. Let's go to file, new, and then notebook. So there we have our notebook. Now as a first step, let's import some of the libraries which we need, which include our diffuser and torch. Let me put it there and let me run it. Let's wait for it to import everything. That is done. Next up, I'm just getting my model or a flow. And then I'm setting this data type and just using this aura flow pipeline from diffusers and it takes care of everything. So let me run it. And you see that it has started running. It is downloading the model. So let's wait for it to finish. Let's go down to see what is happening. There you go. So this is our model here and it seems there are three tensors. The sizes are around, I guess, 28 gig if I'm not mistaken. So let's wait for them to get downloaded. Hopefully this will fit on my GPU. 
Okay, so the model has been downloaded and also it is on my GPU. Thankfully, no errors, which is great. And so once that's done, let's start the pipeline and generate an image. And for that, I'm just going to go and use this command with the pipeline. So you see what I'm asking it close a portrait of a majestic iguana with vibrant blue green scales. So maybe for the purpose of this, I'm just going to keep it small. How is that? So I'm just going to go and say, just generate me this close-up portrait of iguana with this height and width, and then these are the number of inference step, and then generate the image and store it here. So let me run it. And you see that it is just making an iteration on those inference steps. Let's wait for it to finish. It is also showing us the ETA is around under 40 seconds now. And that is all finished. And there I have just typed image here and there is our image. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Look at the quality of this image. I think I'm just going to lose my mind here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. How vibrant. How how colorful just a small small okay so let's play around with it more and let me give it a bit more let me think of another cool prompt and then i'll give it here i think we should have done it live and you guys could tell me what to put it in here and we could have generated some real cool images anyway you can put it in the comments and then i could try more okay so let me replace this Okay, look at this one and I will start it so that and then we will read the prompt. Yeah, sorry, where is it? So I'm saying it a breathtaking close-up portrait of a snow and encrusted mountain peak with glistening crystalline ice and snowflakes shimmering in the warm sunlight. The rugged rocky texture of the mountain surface is visible beneath the snow with hints of granite and stone peeking through the frozen landscape. The snow itself appears almost luminescent as if radiating a soft ethereal glow set against a brilliant blue sky with a wispy feathery cloud with sun's rays casting a golden shimmering light on the mountain's peak. Hyper-realistic high-resolution image capturing the majesty and beauty of the snow-clad mountain in all its glory. Let's, it is still working. 90% done. Almost there. Let's see. Yep, it is done. Let's display it. Let me run it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh wow. Can you believe that? Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Amazing, amazing stuff. And this is simply out of this world. Okay, so that is done. Let's try to generate a human with it. And now have a look at this one. So in this one, I'm asking it and I will run it so that we will we can just read it. Meanwhile, it generates it that a stunning close up portrait of a woman with porcelain like skin, her long raven black hair cascading down her back like a waterfall of night, her eyes like sapphires shimmering in the sunlight, sparkle with a hint of mischief and warmth, a delicate snowflake like pattern adorns her cheeks and nose if, as if the winter sun has kissed her skin set against a soft creamy background with a warm light of the sun casting a golden glow on her face hyper realistic high resolution image capturing the beauty and elegance of the women as if as if she were a winter wonderland come to life how is that okay so let's wait for it to finish completing it has created the image and let me show you so it has followed the prompt to the hilt. I mean, look at the hair and then snowflakes on the cheeks. I think this is where it has made the mistake. So I meant something else, but still, I think good enough. Not bad at all. And then, you know what? The thing which I really liked is that her head is just tilted and turned around. And look at the wrinkles on the neck. So this is what I really like about this model. The attention to detail is just simply out of this world. And I'm not sure if it is censored or uncensored. I'm more than sure that some many of you are thinking the same thing. So I'm not going to test it here. Or maybe I'll test it and then show, maybe tell you without showing you the image. How is that? Okay, let me test it if it is NSFW or not. And if it is, 
then I'm just going to tell you if it is not I might show you the image give me a minute okay guys I can happily uh, confirm that it is very very censored so not NSFW you are all safe I'm still not going to show you this image I'll just keep the curiosity awake so but I can confirm I, I just wanted to show you this that still amazing amazing realistic uh, generation it does so all in all very very impressive model I'm very happy with it and I think I'm going to do more videos on it with different tools so stay tuned I hope that you will enjoy it I will also drop the whole code which I have used in the um, here so that you could also try it out because the code which they have given on their model card is has some bugs so I have just altered it a bit after battling it uh, with it for a couple of hours so uh, follow the code which I will give the link in video description and you should be able to replicate what I have done play around with it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching